What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're looking at an LG monitor. This one is the 25UM58 25 inch 21 by 9 ultra wide monitor. That's a lot. <laughs> It's a lot. Now, I actually own three of these. I've owned three of these for maybe two years. One right here and one over here so I can see this camera. But now that I have this third camera over here, it would really be useful if I had a display to where I could actually see it because from this from this distance, I can't see anything. So with that said, I went ahead and got another one because they're so cheap. For an ultra wide monitor, this doesn't have mind blowing specs. It's not gonna change the world for you. But if you're looking into possibly getting an ultra wide monitor without specs, spending like a thousand dollars, this could be a good choice. I've done everything from playing video games, uh, editing content, which ultra wides are really, really awesome, especially if you're creating content, uh, watching movies, I mean, you name it. I've done it with ultra wides and they're great. I love ultra wides, they're fantastic. And right now, I think it's going for about 150, so um, that's pretty good. It's 2460 by 1080 at 75 hertz. The whole thing itself with the stand weighs about almost nine pounds. Let's just open it up. Handling guide. You want to make sure you're handling it with care. Get this out of here. More foam. Get out of here. Oh, I think I... Oops. Okay, so first off, we have... So we've got a nice HDMI cable. We've got some screws. And then this is a cover for the screws, so you don't have to look at the screws. Goodbye. I said goodbye. So we got some software here with a bunch of instructions and of course your, your assembly guide. So we got the neck for the stand. We've got the stand. So the stand, it's real easy to assemble. You, pull, you put this in there like that. It screws down here. There we go. And then on the back of the monitor, you put this there. You put your two screws and then the cover. Got our power cable, pretty basic cable, nothing too special. And then of course we've got the monitor. That's a good looking monitor. I like how it's kind of got like this hazy look to it. It really cuts down on the glare that you would get from lighting. Now on the bottom you have this control knob and you push it in for power and then you can use it like arrow keys when you're in the menu. Right here you've got uh, your air vents so it stays nice and cool. There's the back and I've already got fingerprints all over it. You got that big LG logo. So you got your HDMI 1 and 2, audio input, so 3.5 millimeter port, and your DC in, it's a 19 volt. Uh, you do also have a lock slot, so if you have one of those lock cables, you can lock it down. And then right here is where you put the, the stand. Oh, I need a screwdriver. Let me grab my, boom, I fix a kit. I store it under my desk now. This thing's awesome. If you didn't watch the I Fix It kit video, definitely check it out. I'll, I'll leave it right here. Go check this out. It, this set is so awesome. I Fix It is great. And then the little cover. It's just a piece of plastic. Just a little baby piece of plastic. You just use it to cover this. Just to keep it looking pretty. Boop. There we go. Alright, so there we go. I mean, you can you can see it's, it's a it's a very nice profile. I mean, it's a good size screen. Only downside with these monitors is it's not an adjustable stand, so eh. But it's got the four screws in the back, so if you have some sort of a mount or something like that, I highly suggest using one of those so you can actually adjust this. Uh, but other than that, there the only adjustment is a tilt back and forward. Now, what's interesting is the, uh, the audio jack in the back. What you do, basically, the audio is fed through the HDMI cables into the monitor and then out through that. So you can plug your speakers directly into it and you can actually control the volume from here. Um, so that's pretty handy. So at the bottom when you turn it on, you just push it in and then you can, can actually go to the different modes. Now um, you have your quick settings so you can change your brightness, contrast, you can change your volume from here, your input, uh, your picture mode, so you can adjust it. You can adjust, uh, they have a game adjustment, so you can change the black stabilizer, the response time, so if I want it to be a fast response time, I can change that. General, you can change the language that you want displayed in the menu. You can also set it for smart energy saving. You also have control over the power LED. So let me go ahead and turn that on. Boop, there we go. Now, if you go back into that setting, you can change your input and you can change your picture mode from here or you can just turn it off. Okay, so now you can see here a beautiful ultra wide. Let's do a little video test. Okay, so this is a 4K video test, but it's an ultra wide video test. Uh, it looks really good. I love whenever you get to... 
Shush. I love whenever you have ultra wide media to d to work with because it really shows off what an ultra wide can really do. If you have a game that you're playing right now on a standard monitor or even a 4K monitor or whatever and you switch over to the ultra wide for the first time, it's it's so bizarre feeling to you. Um, but I'm so used to it now. I, I love ultra wides. They're fantastic, but it looks great. Uh, let's test out a game. There we go. All right. So cool. This mouse and keyboard combo, this is not the best way to play a game. Uh, don't suggest it. All right, well there you go. So I mean, you can get the idea. Uh, it's it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good monitor. Okay, cool. So uh, yeah, I mean, you can see it makes for a really good uh, budget-friendly ultra-wide monitor. Uh, 150 bucks for an ultra-wide monitor is pretty good. Again, it's only 75 hertz, so it's not, again, it's not like your top-of-the-line uh, <laughs> heavy-hitting gaming monitor. Ultimately, it's a great monitor. I highly suggest it, especially if you're starting off, or you just don't want to dish out a ton of money for an ultra-wide. They're pretty decent ultra-wide monitors. And let's face it, LG, they do a pretty good job making them. All right, well, that is it. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. As usual, you guys know what to do. Go check it out for yourself. But as for now, get out of here.